snowball we need to talk I know we had some good times and it's hard but you have to leave it's not because of you it's because of me I want to change the look of the base around here and snowball don't walk away and you're just in the way and it's too hard to move you around I don't mean you're too heavy but yeah listen listen see it as an opportunity so far you were stuck in this small room but now you are free you can move everywhere you want come on it's n it's not that bad we can still stay friends snowball come on I don't want it to end like this look at me snowball hello guys I removed the temporary base up here and now I want to use the platform to catch me a single skeleton so hopefully we can find one which takes a pumpkin nope maybe you yes okay that's the guy let's kill the rest and I want to do a little experiment with the skeleton um, but let me at first take some out just want to see um, if we can have it trapped in an ice block so <laughs> that we have a frozen skeleton um, oh, guy stop shooting me so yep that should work um, other than that I uh, started changing the base around here I will now remove this platform and uh, yeah build a more fancy way over to the mushroom cow farm and there we got the skeleton um, it, m it might be ar around here for a long time we will see that the experiment if it's uh, safe in there or if it managed to uh, get through the blocks maybe on the reloading of the chunks but yeah we will see so let me just uh, finish up the base here so we can get to a more fun project Alright, so I built a little bit on the base and I uh, added this 3 wide ice walkway here so we can fast sprint on it. And I'm not sure with these fences as railing, if you have a better idea, please let me know in the comments. So, and this skeleton is the center point of our base, or of the future base. So, um, I have this intersection here with one way to the cow farm and one way to the oracle and uh, yeah the other way two ways are blocked off for now but uh, most likely we will build other things around here um, uh, yeah and so far the skeleton yeah is still here still kept in the blocks so maybe it actually works to have a frozen skeleton around but I guess I will get rid of the pumpkin later um, yeah, but uh, now I also changed the oracle a little bit, so let me get here. Oh, and I haven't put in the dragon egg yet, so we should just do that. So, yeah, wait, but first, so, yeah, have a look. Um, I used the birch wood, since it uh, goes well with the snow, from the uh, bright texture, and um, in this tunnel here, I used uh, stairs and half slabs on the ceiling and have pumpkins behind so we get this uh, light effect and yeah of course I had to place a tripway again so that the dragon egg can um, teleport to an air block around here oh yeah and one more thing um, in here for, for the light I used um, leaves with a snow layer on them below this ice and below the leaves there are um, jack-o-lanterns and now we should place the dragon egg let's see if it works because I yeah I did everything right when I uh, re read it the redstone back there so but that's uh, enough of the base building for today um, I know you haven't seen much of it but <laughs> let me so s s let me know what you think about it um, 
while I was building around here, I had the cow farm running all the time, and we should have a look what what we got in the nether now. Um, there should be quite some cows. Let's see. Oh, lag! Really bad lag. Yeah, we should kill them as soon as I can hit the button. Let me try. Yeah. Oh, how many? Around 600. Wow. Sound is completely spazzing out. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> not bad. Oh, there's still more. Let's see, what else can I throw away? Um, wow. Hmm, I should have used looting on them. Well, that's... <laughs> wow. Yeah, but, um, as promised, I uh, want to get to something else today. Or to something more fun, as I said. And that's wither mining. So, we want to abuse the wither to, um, yeah, to semi-automatic mine for us, like we did with Silverfish before. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I moved all my supplies down here uh, while I was building up there, so now I got um, all the tools in here. And another thing, I renamed the tools, um, so my Silk Touch tools are named Silk Touch and Efficiency tools, Efficiency and so on. Uh, the reason for that is, if you have some in the inventory, you can just scroll over them and then uh, the name is shown um, yeah, in, in the in the line there, efficiency 5, silk touch and fortune. So um, if I'm mining and don't know in which slot I got which tool, I can just scroll over it or switch to it by pressing the keys and uh, directly know, okay, it's a fortune pickaxe. I g uh, thought that would be pretty neat. So yeah, um, I got all the tools down here and um, my other su supplies, I should show you from time to time my diamond supply because uh, if I someday show you like uh, nine stacks of diamond ore you will say it's cheated but it's not, uh, just do some mining from time to time. Um, so yeah, and all the other things around here, the iron from the iron farm, ender pearls, yeah. Um, somewhere back here should be the stake, so let's put it in here. Okay, where was the, <laughs> the leather? Let me search. Uh, oh, it was over here probably. Nope, nope. Yes. Yeah, the storage room is a little, little bit too, too small, but it's doing it for now. So now I have no food. Um, what, what were we about to do? Yeah, we, we want to uh, do wither mining. So uh, yeah, I sh should get some uh, supplies ready for it and uh, prepare a little bit and show you how it's done. The idea for wither mining is that we uh, put the wither into a minecart and then move him to the blocks he should destroy. And then we damage him, and as you know, when we damage a wither, he de uh, destroys a 3x3x4 three by three by area around him. So the first problem is, if uh, a wither would be in this minecart, and we punch him or damage him somehow, um, he would destroy the rails as well, and then we can't move him anymore. So instead of moving uh, the minecarts on rails, we will use a really old trick for um, minecart boosters. So if I uh, drop three minecarts on this um, on this power drill down here, they all in this block, and then activate the power drill, they all will move our and that sheep messes up the experiment. So uh, let's let's just uh, do it again. Oh, I forgot to um, turn off the power drill again. Uh, one second. Now it should work. So, um, and let's place a block here. If we now activate the power rail, you can see these minecarts move also uh, if there's no track. Um, till they hit a block and then they stop. And um, if we remove the block, they don't start moving again. But 
yeah, that's uh, you will see later why it's important that uh, we get it moving again after a tilt block. So um, the idea to fix that is we just uh, send another three mine cards um, in, and I will place another block here, so you can better see it. If I activate it, these three mine cards will push the first three mine cards, and um, they will stop at the next block. If I place another block here and remove this one, they will just go on and so on. And now um, we will have the wizard in one of the first mine cards. I will do it with uh, four mine cards each because I got before I got some problems with uh, three mine cards that they sometimes don't move correctly when I have a wizard in them. But um, yeah, w we will have uh, the wizard in let's say in this card. And um, breaking, break him, uh, break the cards with a block, and then there will be blocks up here. The wizard will uh, get suffocation damage and destroy all these blocks around him, and also these blocks. And of course, I forgot to send the next three cards in. In these cards, there are no entities at all say only empty cards and um, yeah these that let's just build it up here again uh, one two three four I guess so um, if we would have a wizard in this card now and um, push these other cards he would get suffocation damage from this block and destroy the three by three by four blocks around him and we could do the exact same thing over here so the wizard would take damage, destroy these blocks, and move on, take damage, and destroy these blocks, and so on. So we can automatically uh, break blocks. Now um, the next two parts we, we have to cover is um, one the, the part how we get the wizard in a minecart, it's not uh, like you can easily push him around like a sheep here. Um, and also we have to prepare a mining tunnel where the wizard um, gets pushed along. And yeah, we should uh, get to the g getting the wizard in the minecart part now. Alright, so we are somewhere underground now, um, at the same spot where we did the silverfish mining. Not exactly the same, but close to it. And I already set up this uh, s starter here. We have uh, boosted rails below here, they are powered by these levers and I already put uh, three mine cards on each of them and uh, have them at the moment hold by these pistons and uh, one piston is wired directly and one with a four tick delay so the reason for that is that these mine cards start going at first and then uh, these mine cards follow and uh, yeah, if it if we would power both at the same time, it could happen that this minecart went the wrong way and then everything would get stuck. And um, the plan is now that we uh, get our wizard in the minecart up here. He will drop down on in into our these minecarts. And then we can get into our safe zone behind the iron bars and observe the whole thing from here without the wizard shooting us constantly. And when we turn off the lever, the pistons will move down and the cards start moving and the wizard would take damage, destroy these blocks, move again, take damage, destroy all these blocks and uh, obviously I just mined it out here so we can um, see it nicely from the side. For the, uh, for the rest of the mining tunnel um, I would just make a small tunnel down here and remove the blocks from here and the rest would be done by the wizard. So Let's remove these minecarts because they are noisy. So the first thing uh, is now we need to get the wizard into the minecart. And I will try to do it on camera so you can see how it's working. Um, the idea is we would spawn the wizard here. So we would place the soul sand like this and uh, then get our three skulls and place them on there. Uh, by the way, I only got these three skulls and it already took me long enough to get them. <laughs> so we only have one try. I can't uh, show parts of the system. We will uh, have to, to wait till the whole system is done and send, send one wizard through the tunnel there. But yeah, so um, we want to spawn the wizard in here. 
and then he should get transported by a minecart uh, down this road. And um, the minecart will be in this dispenser here and be shot out in the right moment and uh, the right moment is when he has full health because when when you spawn a wither um, at first he uh, has really low health and then he restores it uh, in his initial phase and um, after it's fully loaded he explodes and yeah, we, we need to get him uh, in the minecart after he exploded because if he's in the minecart it's not working correctly and uh, he's not restoring health. I'm, I'm not sure why it that is. I guess uh, certain IE tasks don't get uh, called when the mob is in the minecart. But uh, when a wizard is in the minecart, he does not restore health and um, also he does not shoot blockbusters. So these really nasty uh, projectiles which could destroy everything including the iron bars. So yeah, that's also why we are safe behind this iron bar wall. Um, because when he's in the minecart he will not shoot blockbusters. But yeah, let's um, move on. So uh, the the first thing which will happen when the wither is loaded up is the explosion, of course. And uh, the explosion would destroy everything around here. So we need to block this uh, explosion with water. And um, I will use half slabs here. And I, I will uh, show later why we place uh, only one half slab back here. So um, after the wither is spawned, we want to have water flowing down here, so um, he's in the water and his explosion does not do damage. But uh, before before he spawned, uh, water needs to be blocked by a piston. And I got one here. Let me just uh, get a few blocks here. Now one higher. So we use a sp sticky piston like this and block, the, uh, block in front. And this piston will uh, will block off the water as long as we don't need it. Now I lost one of my soul sands. So, um, yeah, to detect when the wither spawned, uh, we will use uh, the, the fact that, let me just block the water for now, um, that when we have the blocks here, uh, the wither is not spawned because they are still blocks. And when we spawn him, they will disappear. And uh, that means by having a lever here powering this repeater and uh, powering this block which is getting to this redstone here uh, we can detect when the wither spawns because when he spawns all these blocks here get removed and now the redstone is off and we know the wither spawned so now we need connect it to the um, to the piston up here so let me do that will use half slap wiring for it like this now I can uh, remove all these soul sands again I just use them as a temporary block here and of course we need redstone to, to wire the piston up here like this and yeah down there we already have a redstone so now if we place a block here the water get turned off we can place other blocks, place the skulls, and then the blocks disappear again when the skull is placed. And the water gets turned on so the explosion does not do damage. So that's part w 1. Uh, let's go on with part 2. And part 2 is to uh, send a minecart out and pick up the wither once he is uh, fully spawned. So he can get down here to the mine and uh, we can do some mining with him. But yeah, it already uh, it, it all the time takes the same time for the wizard to fully uh, load up. So we could just set up a repeater chain from here, but I don't know how long it would have to be, and I'm too lazy to count it. So I will try to uh, detect the explosion of the wizard um, to then fire out a minecart here. So um, to detect the explosion, we will use uh, an item which gets blown up. Oh, I can't I can't reach that high. Um, up here. So um, when the wizard explodes, he's in water so he will not destroy uh, blocks obviously, but um, he will destroy items. And I will shoot an item on uh, this pressure plate up here. And when he explodes, it should get destroyed. So the, item, the dispenser which shoots out the item will be up here. And then we sh should have a 
another half slab here and one more there. So uh, we can't use a solid block here because um, it's four blocks over the rail. It's one, two, three, four. Oh, actually it's it's here. <laughs> but yeah, um, the if there would be a solid block, then uh, the wither uh, would take damage and destroy our system. But uh, that's why I just use half slip half slips where I can. So um, now I will use a trap door here, so the item gets shot out of the dispenser and we will obviously just use uh, sheep items like roses or maybe even um, only the red dye, then we have more of it. So and um, yeah, w when the um, dispenser gets triggered now, it will shoot out an item and shoot it on this pressure plate and um, when the wither explodes, the item will get destroyed and uh, the pressure plate will yeah will go up again so uh, we ne we need a detector here um, a rising ex edge detector uh, ba back here on the uh, pressure plate because when the wizard explodes the uh, item gets destroyed and we want to detect it so um, for that I will set one up here so the idea is just we we have the inverted signal and then we have a rise uh, now I'm confused or what what did I say before uh, falling edge detector <laughs> so wait we have to detect when the items get the item gets destroyed so at the moment the item is on the pressure plate we are the item at the moment so when it gets destroyed um, the torch goes on and we need to detect the rising edge yeah and that's exactly what we're building here, like this. So um, now let's just simulate it. Throw an item on the pressure plate, and now the wizard would explode and destroy the item. And the minecart gets shot out, picks him up, and he lands down here. So that's working nice. Okay. <laughs> so um, now th the next step is. We need to um, trigger this dispenser to shoot out an item, and um, we will do that from this redstone line. So I in the moment we spawn the wizard here, so in the moment where the soul sand here disappears, we want to um, trigger this dispenser because then we know in in a few uh, seconds the wizard will uh, yeah will be ready to get transported away. So we need an item now, and Oops. Um, for that, we will have another uh, falling edge detector back here. So we need one repeater on the fourth tick here. And actually, I think we can use redstone here. No, no, we can't. And one repeater on the first tick over here. And a torch on top and a torch back here. So it's basically the same circuit as here, but uh, just a little bit different build, so it's n fitting nicer into the system. So yeah, when when the redstone here goes off, this torch will uh, give a short pulse, because um, yeah, at at first um, at the moment the torch is off because of uh, this repeater here. Yep, you all know how our falling edge detector works, right? So <laughs> I don't need to explain it. If not, just look on the wiki. Uh, anyways, uh, this this torch um, will trigger when when the redstone here goes off. So we will connect it to the dispenser, and that's it basically. Now, uh, one thing we should do is um, get on the other side and. Do we have a lever on us? Mm, of course not, but we do have some materials. We need to uh, power the the trapdoor because the pressure plate is uh, triggering it and could cause trouble. Mm. So let's put a lever on top of here. Yeah, that's that's correct. W wait a second, if I make it a full block, then it goes down because uh, this block gets powered by the lever and the trapdoor now gets powered too. So, 
yeah now now the whole thing should work so with this uh, detector here so let's let's try it out in theory as I said I only have three skulls so we can only simulate a spawning wither so the wither is spawned he loads up the item is on the pressure plate so it's, that works fine and now he would be fully loaded up and explode and get transported away. Yeah, that works nice. So basically that's all we need for the system. Now we, we could uh, start it. Uh, yeah, the last thing uh, we need to do is dig this tunnel. So yeah, I will double check everything and uh, get to the tunnel digging. The tunnel is done now. It's 900 blocks long, so uh, the wizard takes damage every third block. So 900 blocks uh, should exactly uh, do 300 half hearts damage, and he got 150 hearts, so that should kill him. And also, I placed these cobblestone walls here, and the jack o' lanterns just for light, but these cobblestone walls are unnecessary because when the wizard is in a minecart off the track, um, he will not move straight as the empty minecarts do. Um, he will, yeah, he will move the minecart sideways, so it will always go diagonal. And um, interestingly, he will exactly move the opposite uh, direction wh where he wants to go. So, if I spawn a wizard here and go behind the iron bars, he will still track me and try to get to me, and uh, try to fly in my direction. So this way and uh, that causes the minecarts when they are off the track to go this way and if I don't place cobblestone fences here they would uh, yeah, get stuck on the side here and it wouldn't work but the cobblestone fences are uh, 1.5 1 1 blocks tall and so the uh, minecarts get stuck on them and only go along here so basically everything is ready now um, I also brought a smite four sword, so if something goes wrong, I'm probably able to kill him uh, with no problems. And some regen potions. Uh, I will double and triple check everything again, and uh, yeah, then we can go. Alright, I checked the whole thing again and made a few changes, but before we come to that, let's have a look uh, what what I got from mining out the 900 block long tunnel, and that's in here, <laughs> 54 diamond blocks, uh, diamond ore blocks, I guess that's, that's a lot for 900 blocks, I'm pretty sure, just from the feeling how often I found diamonds, but uh, let's get to this thing, so a few changes I make, made, uh, one was I moved up these blocks here, um, because I um, was a little bit scared the minecart could go to the right here before uh, there is a fence. Um, also, the, um, the whole machine here, I, I moved it uh, back a little bit. 
to make sure the minecarts get not affected from the explosion from the wither because he has a pretty large explosion and uh, I, I don't want to get any minecarts lost there that would destroy the whole thing so um, I changed that but it's still uh, the same machine besides these two blocks here because I forgot before to place them it's just to make sure that no item gets out to the side uh, when the dispenser here shoots an item out but uh, I think that's all the changes I made so now we should try it if I place the blocks the water get turned off nice then I place the skulls everything is ready we have some minecarts down there let's place the last skull item get shot out it's up there so when he explodes he will destroy it and get transported away in the minecart yes okay so far it worked nice so when I now flick this lever he will start mining these blocks and the other minecarts will push him so let's hope for the best <laughs> yes <laughs> yes that's with the mining automated mining in my own life oh yeah of course shoot me oh now the white focus are a little bit annoying because I can't see him ah in the corner I can so I will went along here and pick up all the items wow and a lot of XP from all the redstone and coal so as you can see here um, gravel is not a big deal it's just falling down but the minecarts move so fast that uh, oh lava is a problem <laughs> but uh, it's not doing anything oh no I have to follow him because if he gets into unloaded chunks that will probably break so let's just get along here jump and um, move. okay I can still he see his uh, health bar so that's fine yeah and I can hear him yeah he is breaking blocks <laughs> that's so awesome like who needs feed the beast and the crowy <laughs> Just use a wizard. Okay, of course it's a uh, lot more work, but hey, that's awesome. Oh, we found lapis. Let's see, where are we at? Um, wow, still, still 500 blocks to go. I need to put the stuff into a chest here, and I need to be fast because if he gets into the unloaded chunks, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will break. Like I haven't tested it, but. Just move on. Uh, I st still can see her cell, so it should be fine. It's not unloaded yet. Whoa, diamonds! At least one. Um. Oh, there he is! No. Okay, <laughs> I, I will put down a few more chests here. And uh, after we, we finished uh, the 900 block long tunnel, um, I will collect all the resources we see in the walls here and um, bring them all to, uh, to one central point and uh, yeah, show you what we got from the wither. Oh, more lava in here. No big deal, I can get around. Wait, have I miscalculated the health of the wither? We are not close to where I thought it would go. Probably made a mistake somewhere. Well, not a big deal. Because uh, when the tunnel is too long, we can just use it again later. Um, when we want to do more wither mining. But I have to check how, how many hearts the wither has again. Um, and or is he taking more than half a heart damage from every... Oh, no, now he's dying. Um, from every suffocation, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, uh, back here should be another star. Let's search this one. There it is. Oh, can't pick it up because of all the minecarts. Oh no! Oh, luckily the nether star is uh, resistant to explosion damage. Oh, yeah, and I last slept here. Um, 
<laughs> wow, uh, that was intense. Um, intense mining. Let's. Yeah, I, I will um, get some some armor and uh, get back there, and then we can pick up the Nether Star. Yeah, there's still some wood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let let me get back there. Whew, okay, let's get back. So, yeah, so <laughs> while we run the tunnel, we can have a look around what we all found. There's some redstone, a lot of coal, diamonds, yes. Um, more redstone. Oh, yeah, I forgot the lava. <laughs> I need to get around that. Uh, yeah, okay, there's still my bridge from the first time. More redstone. Wow, I found a lot of diamonds mining out this, this uh, small tunnel there, but here it looks like this one diamond patch is the only one. Lapis. Gold. Iron. Yeah, I don't need iron, I have an iron farm. But all in all, a fun project. So... Yeah... How far was it? Should be the Nether Star should be back there. Uh, let's get there. Or oh, yeah. I still don't know why uh, the tunnel is only um, so short. I thought it should be 900 blocks. I guess the the wizard is uh, taking damage more than one time. Uh, while yeah, w while he's driving through the blocks. Uh, that might be the reason. Um, oh, hopefully not too much burnt here. Well, the nether star is still there and the good sword is still there. Oh, got no chests. Um, yeah, let's get a little bit away and craft, craft us uh, some chests at first. Workbench. And finally we collected the nether star. Uh, let's see what burned. Um, oh no, the helmet and the shoes of our armor. Too bad. But yeah, most of it survived. Lapis. So yeah, we'll get um, my fortune and um, silk touch pickaxe and go through the tunnel, collect all the ores and transport them back there and then we can have a look at what we got. Oh, I just saw we lost a lot of levels when the creeper blew us up, but who cares, we got an enderman farm. So let's have a look at uh, the resources we got, it's, it's not too much. It's a chest of cobble and a uh, little bit more cobble, a little bit dirt, uh, some gravel. And then over here we got the coal. Now on this side, that's the coal we got from mining out the uh, tunnel after the wizard went through and um, this is the coal the wizard uh, mined himself. And uh, this coal back here is the coal we mined from, uh, uh, from the 900 block tunnel. When I uh, went through the tunnel before I also collected resources and that's what I got so there. I guess I, I just not uh, mined all the coal I, I saw so probably it, it would be more here probably but yeah. Um, the interesting chest is down here. Um, so again, on this side, uh, the resources from the wizard, and on this side, the resources I mined out when I did the 900 block tunnel. So gold is not doing bad at all, because you would have uh, to say it's only half, because the wizard tunnel is only uh, three, uh, only half of the uh, length of the uh, long tunnel um, for some reason. I, I guess it's that uh, the wizard takes damage two times before he destroys a block. Um, he also like uh, goes through um, two blocks. Um, yeah, I don't have the, the blocks to show it here, but uh, it, it's maybe before he destroys the blocks, it's likely that he takes uh, the damage two times, I guess. It's, I'm, I'm not sure, but it's the only way I can explain it, because I, 
w Ruby was the kind to, to look it up in the Minecraft code again for me. And the wizard definitely has 150 hearts. So yeah, I guess he takes uh, several times damage. But yeah, let's let's go on. Iron, um, definitely more. Redstone is more. That's uh, really interesting and cool because redstone is useful. <laughs> Lapis is around the same again. If, uh, I would half it here. And uh, <laughs> diamonds, yeah, I guess 54 was just really lucky, even if we take half of it uh, compared to the four diamonds on this side and one diamond each. Um, yeah, still, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have uh, dug the tunnel if we wouldn't have done wither mining, so we can count them on this side as well. <laughs> uh, it was definitely a fun project and uh, I will definitely do wither mining again now that I uh, have the second half of the tunnel back there and I can just use it again here. Um, if you want to try this in your own worlds, be careful. It's it's really dangerous. <laughs> like I did some experiments before which failed uh, in, in creative mode and uh, until I got it working it took a while. You see how I did it here, I, I moved it back to uh, make sure that the minecarts don't get blown up and things like that. It's a lot of small things you have to uh, to uh, care about to, to make it actually work, but it's a lot of fun. So um, I guess that's, that's enough for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you next time.